Okay, girls, you know the drill. You're going to stay alive while we are gone. I know it's going to be a little bit of a long trip, but hopefully you're getting plenty of water. Hopefully you'll get some rain. Just don't die on us. Ben's already inside. We were just discussing. Might paint our door periwinkle. Oh gosh, look at this view. Oh. oh, what a great kitchen. Okay. This is perfect. That's a great desk. Love the kitchen. Reclaimed wood counters. Washer and dryer, wood stove. What's around the corner here, hon? Um, little bathroom. All right, this view is killer. Oh, yeah. And what's the other door? Basement. Okay. Here's our bed with a view. Uh, love this painted bed. And the bed's too high for the dogs jump up. Ah, oh, this is great. Look at the view. Ben's already in. Our bedroom, but shower and the clawfoot tub. Perfect. Let's see. Oh, this is our room. Yeah, waking up to this in the morning. Three bedrooms upstairs. I was just looking at all these, like an old mule chest. A little lower than ours, beautiful. Next door is, this property has two homes on it. And from what I understand, that's the mother's property, but maybe they rent it out as well. I'm not sure.
now we have a lot to unpack. The truck is full. We brought up a lot of our food, but in St. George, there are, look like a couple restaurants. What I was looking for, coffee maker, because we definitely brought our own coffee. I can't wait to explore. This is so fun. It's one fun thing about staying at VRBOs. You are welcome to go through all the drawers because you have to, because you're actually cooking and cleaning and using it as your own home. So like I said, I just have to figure out where the coffee maker is. Said they had one. We're just looking for the coffee maker. What they, they said they have one, right? Yes, coffee grinder and coffee maker. All right, we'll find it. Right, Spices, dishes. I brought all kinds of things to make beef stew, chilies. I'm planning on doing a lot of cooking here, but okay. Did you check these? I did. Mm, and you, oh, wait a minute. You found a pantry, I didn't know. But we, there we go. Found it. Safe from No Coffee Land and Linda having to go out early <laughs> every morning. Oh, look, there's a French press. I can make my pumpkin spice and you don't have to have oh, any. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to unpack the car and this is going to start looking like home. A mess. And cabinets open in the kitchen, like Ben always does, just like home. Once again, I cannot get over this view. I'm looking forward to baking and cooking with that view. I'm so glad you get to visit with us doing this. This is the book I saved to read up here. And I thought it'd be very appropriate. I ended up bringing some of the corn that I froze and I'm not sure if you saw that video or not yet but I did use my new vacuum sealer and I'm just going to turn this off now just wanted to heat it up make some burgers on the grill but I also brought some tomatoes and cucumbers and a zucchini from our garden I'll use that during the week for some salads and some meals Here, a lot of the lobster boats going out. There's three of them right there. More fishing boats. Check out this sunrise. Good morning, kindred spirits. Welcome to Maine. We have a regular coffee brewing. I'm going to make my first official pumpkin spice in the French press. So I also have the water going on. And I just love seeing how these coffee mugs are just a glow from the sunrise.
We are out for a morning walk and it's hard to see from this angle, but through the trees here, somebody has used a lot of fallen branches and trees. They put a log between two trees and then they laid the sticks onto it to make somewhat of a rustic wood tent. And of course, that is now on our list of to-dos while cleaning up the woods. I think that's fun. And then when we have grandkids, hopefully they can go in and play with them. We just passed by a huge Victorian on the water. I'm hoping to remember to take a video of that, but I can imagine it must have been some sort of captain's home with its widow's walk at the top. We're actually in the town of St. George. We've driven through it, but didn't know it had all these beautiful little areas. And if some of you recognize the name St. George, it's also the name of some of the candles that we carry. They're up here. Willow is so happy. Beautiful bowed window, old glass. It's hard to see, but here's the big, beautiful home with a widow's walk. I'm not sure what this building is yet. I don't know if this was functional or some sort of folly, but I think it's pretty cool. This is right down the street from where we're staying. And it is across the street from the mansion over there. So this could be an old folly that used to go to that. Who knows? It's hard to get close. I might try on the way back. I don't know if I'll see it as much, but if you notice the white on the trees, those are all little cobwebs full of morning dew. Ben and I were talking about putting some logs across some areas in the woods that were kind of off. And that's exactly what they did here for this little, I don't know if it's, a, it's not a road, it's just like a little drive into this section of the woods. And then, the pine bark. More ideas for Sugarwoods Forest. And this road is all the pine bark. I think I've mentioned it in past videos. We are definitely getting a wood chipper. Oh, here's another logs going across. We're definitely getting a wood chipper to work in the woods. But what I'm gonna be doing today when Ben golfs, I'm gonna be heading back out and coming to get a lot of hemlock cones, pine cones for future craft projects. This whole 
we just popped out of the woods to this open field. It's still following a path. Oh. Walking along one lone apple off of a broken branch, determined to grow. We had no idea we were just steps away from this little harbor. I mean, really close. This is so beautiful. I don't know how long they're going to last, but I did bring my sketchbook and my colored pencils, and I'm going to sit here this morning, enjoy another cup of pumpkin spice coffee, enjoy the view, and just have a nice little fine living moment, a very, very simple moment at that. Well, very limited with the colored pencils I have, and they're not watercolor pencils, so I couldn't even make a periwinkle color. Well, kind of close. But I did this quickly, and I just had fun. This was just to relax. I'm not trying to be an artist. I'm just trying to be creative. Now this was perfect timing. I was telling Ben that instead of doing wood fencing around our new gardens we're gonna do, what about stone wall to make it look like it was a foundation? Well, here we are at Hedge Row and they do have stone walls around their gardens. And then they have netting and whatnot for the other animals. But I love this idea. Look at these apple trees. I'm gonna pronounce this probably wrong, but it's like the Aspalia trees where you have them against a house. These have been trimmed, so they're nice and narrow. I'm going to go on the side so you can see that. What a wonderful idea. Oh, and look at this beautiful asparagus over here. Give some sweet peas. Look at how fun are these. A lot of thyme over here. Beautiful. 
through the woods here. What a beautiful property. Here, trees come down, yes. so they regenerate ships, and, and it's wet in here, so it rises, it raises it up a bit. This is a beach hedge I've started with Copper Beach, and then this is, it's very dry here right now, so a lot of things have a little pump. But, this is a... Oh, that's great. Uh, mm -hmm. The deer would have fun at ours. Well, deer, uh, deer don't eat this one. Good. That's what. It's good to know for that. And it's a European beach, uh, so it's resistant to the fungus that strikes the American. This keeps the deer out, the netting uh, over the stakes. And I had problems with rabbits this year, but I put screws in down, and so I sinked down the netting so the rabbits couldn't get under it. So, oh, you're just a happy girl. Now. And who is this? This is Isabel. Isabel, hello, oh hello. <laughs> yes, Will is going to be very jealous. Will is going to be very jealous. Is this thing ever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's a snorky. A snorky. A Yorkshire Terrier mix. Adorable. We drove down to find their beach and it's this little piece of sand right here. This is it. This is the beach. <laughs> Willow will still love it. Let's see if she goes in. I usually bring a towel for her. I didn't bring one today. It wasn't too long ago she would not go in the water. <laughs> oh no, 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 oh no, oh no. Well, so much for that. <laughs> and she's out of here. sit by the fire with our cocktails. We just had a wonderful dinner at the Quarry Tavern, which is the pub underneath the restaurant here at Harborview Inn and Restaurant. No sunrise today. Well, kindred spirits, that's it for now. We may take a drive to Camden, Maine still before we return back to New Hampshire. I'm not sure. But that said, probably midweek, I'm going to show you a video of what was in the fall box. 
and what was in the Halloween box. I'll give notice if you don't want to know or ruin the surprise. And then I will see you again next Sunday. Bye now.